So, just listened to Arsene Wenger's press conference en route to work this morning. Um, wow, the the circus is in full flow, that's for sure. Um, he's basically saying that Alexis Sanchez is no closer to a new deal. Um, kind of blackmailing Oxlade-Chamberlain by saying that the club have invested a lot of time, money and effort into him, so it's time he showed a bit of loyalty. Well, you didn't show any loyalty to Wojciech Szczesny when you sold him to Juventus, mate, so... You know, he still had he still had a contract. You didn't allow him to honour his contract because you sold him. So it's all well and good sitting there talking about players should honour their contracts and blah 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 blah. But as soon as you don't want a player to honour their contract, you ship him out the club, mate. So don't work both ways, does it, Arson? Um, he was asked about Mustafi. So well, Inter Milan are apparently interested. Wenger basically confirmed that. Um, said that there's seven days of the transfer window left to go. The phone's going to be going absolutely mad on outgoings, possible incomings. Um, although he never touched on incomings, really. He just he just said the phone would be going mad. Um, obviously, we've got a big squad, not enough places, blah, blah, blah. Um, and he wants to get a couple of youth team players in there, which he's going to do this season. Which is good because Reese Nelson deserves a chance, in my opinion. I think that kid's super talented. And... Yeah, give him a couple of games. Um, yeah, with the Mustafi one, um, the way he worded it was there's seven days of the window to go, the phone's going to be going mad, and anything can change on an hourly basis. So that sort of confirms to me, after spending 10 minutes talking about Oxlade Chamberlain and Alexi Sanchez and how they should stay, he never said that about Mustafi. He said that anything's possible. So... He better have one hell of a plan up his sleeve if he's after selling Gabriel now looking to possibly sell Mustafi. Um, well, if we if we sell Mustafi and we don't replace him with something better, then we're bang in trouble. Bang in trouble. I already think we're in trouble. We'll be even in be in even more trouble if we sell Mustafi. Um, he confirmed that Alexis Sanchez is fit and raring to go which is brilliant news for all Arsenal fans. We've missed this guy, we've missed his hunger and desire, his will to win. And it might give a few of the other players in the team a, a kick up the arse to, to chase down balls and, and get back and defend properly, which we've been lacking in the last, well, not against Stokes, they had hardly any possession, but definitely against um, Leicester City. Um, and he also confirmed that Lamar is dead in the water, not happening. Um, his words were, Monaco have sold too many players. Well, I'm pretty sure that we were the first team to be linked with a Monaco player. We've spent all summer flirting with this idea of Lamar, Lamar, Lamar. And in the meantime, all that Monaco have done is sell other players to other teams. So, again, that tells me that we fucked around. We haven't offered what they wanted. Um, we haven't even come close to what they wanted. Otherwise, Lamar would be an Arsenal player and would have been months ago. So... So yeah, I think he's only got himself to blame for that one. Um, like I've said in previous videos, I'd rather have Mares than Lamar. I think Lamares is a better player now, and we need better players now. We don't need another one for the future. Um, although Lamar will be a fantastic player if he carries on doing what he did last season, but Mares is ready now. You know, he's done it in this league. He, he's proven that. So. Hopefully we go in and, and stick a little bid in for, for Mares because he's exactly what we need in my opinion. Um, anyway, on to the, um, the preview for the Liverpool game at Anfield on Sunday. Um, I'm absolutely bricking it, I've got, I've, I've got to be honest. Um, after the way I see Liverpool playing last night, their attack looks fluid, um, albeit Hoffenheim ain't the greatest team in the world, but the way they were ripping them to shreds was just it was good to watch um, and then I'm looking at it thinking will he better start playing centre-backs in, in the centre-back role rather than left-backs in the centre-back role because if we got Sadio Mane running at Monreal in the centre-back position we're banging trouble so um, defensively I think Liverpool are as bad as us if not worse had Serge Gnabry taken a couple of chances he had last night um, one of them at 0-0 then um, 
it would have been a different story. Um, again, at 1-0 or 2-0, he missed an absolute sitter again. So, yeah, Liverpool, we can definitely get at them. Um, but that being said, they can get at us. Um, it's it's going to be an entertaining match, that's for sure. Um, loads of ups and downs. And like I say, I'm absolutely shitting it because if Sadio Mane is on form, he's one of the best players in the league. So, yeah, we need to fix up and fix up quick. Um, I always enjoy Arsenal-Liverpool games. Always high scoring. Always end-to-end. -end. Um, always decent games as well. Uh, plenty of goals, etc. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting a decent game. Um, I'll give you my score prediction in a while. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers I've had recently as well. Um, I'm on route to 2,200 subs now. Totally overwhelmed by that, considering how long this channel's been going. And I appreciate everyone who's subscribed. If you haven't and you're watching this for the first time, smash the subscribe button. Plenty of content all season. You'll watch my journey, my ups and downs. I'm going bald. Look at the state of that forehead. Um, this club will be the death of me. <laughs> um, smash the like button while you're at it as well. Always helps me along my way. Um, I'm going to get into my 1-11 to 11 now. Here we go. Um, Peter checking goal, only because he's better than Ospina. Um, I don't think he's he's fantastic as he was in um, in days gone by, but he is our best goalkeeper, so Peter checking goal. Left back, the tank, the beast, the incredible Hulk, whatever you want to call this guy. We signed him to play left back or left wing back. He's got to start in that position. So Kalasanac for me at left wing back. Um, the three at the back. Koscielny's off his suspension, so he's coming straight back in for me. Um, I'm going to put Rob Holding back in. I thought it was good management to drop him um, for the Stoke game because he got roasted against Vardy. So I thought it was a, a, a wise move to take him out the limelight, stick him in the stands. A lot of people disagree with that, but we were crying out for him to do that with Awobi last season. He kept playing him and playing him and playing him. So I think that was a good move. And, and Rob Holden could sit there and assess his game, assess himself as a person, and, and hopefully he'll come back in and have an absolute blinder. Um, so yeah. I love uh, Rob Holding. I love Mustafi. Um, looked shaky against Stoke. Got roasted a few times by Hesse. Um, but he's better than playing a left back in that position. So, yeah, Mustafi for me. And um, right wing back. No way in a million years is Bellerin getting in my team. Um, go and get air cut, bruv. Because you're not good enough at the minute. And you haven't been good enough for a long, long time. So... Go and evaluate what you want to do and where you're going because you ain't up to the up to the level required at the minute. So Oxley Chamberlain in right wing back position for me. Um, midfield, Granite Xhaka. I think he's ideal for this game. Um, yes, he's been slightly poor, but he's being asked to do do two or three jobs because of players bombing forward and leaving him fully exposed. So, you know, I can't I I can't see the the hate and the criticism for this guy i don't get it yes he made a few mistakes um one against stoke which obviously led to a goal but you still got to defend properly after he's lost the ball um against leicester he was the same so i'm going with granite xhaka i think obviously if liverpool are going to come on to us he can he can switch the balls up left right and center um in, in a split second so he'll be perfect for counter-attacking next to him this is where I'm going to completely mix it up and everyone's going to go nuts. Um, a lot of people have been saying that Ramsey exposes Ozil and, you know, and, and obviously Ozil get, uh, doesn't get any defensive help and, and you know, he, he's, he shouldn't be asked to be tracking back and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go with the only real defensive midfielder we've got at Arsenal Football Club because he nicks the ball. Um, and he'll just give it to a better player. You know what you're getting. So I'm going to stick Francis Coquelin next to Granit Xhaka for this game. Not the best player in the world. Far from it. But he does what he says. And he'll get the ball and he'll pass it to someone better. And he will protect that back five. Um, so yeah, that's my midfield pairing. Um, I'm going with Alexis Sanchez. The, the best player we have. And um, I'm going with Mesut Ozil just behind Alexander Lacazette. Um, I think that team is decent. Whether it's decent enough to beat Liverpool, I'm not so sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll reply to all of them um, at some point throughout the day. Um, yeah, there we go. My score prediction. Sadly, I can't see us winning. Liverpool 3, 
Arsenal 1. Laters, peeps. Mm -hmm.